Hello, this is Heather Chapetta and I am making a video to show you how to use Google News. Google News is a, another application available through Google and in order to access Google News and customize Google News for your own personal needs you need to go into Google and sign into Google as you would to use any of the other applications on Google and once you are signed in, I am already signed in, so I'm not going to take you through that process. You're going to go to that 3x3 grid, and news may show up here if it's something you access frequently. You're probably going to have to go down to more, and then you will see news with the little picture of a newspaper above it. So you will click on that. That will take you into Google News. Once you're in Google News, you can see that it looks like a newspaper, looks like a lot of other online news sources. I think it's a little more organized, and I'm going to show you how you can control your settings and make it customized for what you would like to see out of your news. In order to change the settings to Google News to personalize, you need to go to this little wheel here and that is going to allow you to personalize your settings. I really like how Google has this set up, it's very visual. You can say how often you would like to see certain types of news. And if you go up here to the top, you have, um, well, to begin with, all of these are gonna be in the middle. And you can then change these however you would like to see them. So if world news is something that you frequently like to see, you could change that to um, something that always the highest option there. Or maybe you're not as interested in world news, you can bump it down all the way down to rarely. And then of course there's the very neutral position here in the middle that sometimes and in between on each end we have often and occasionally. So you're gonna have the option for every single one of these sections of the paper. So for world news, for me personally, I like to see world news often. Uh, the U.S. news, I'm going to bump up to always want to see that. Uh, business, I'm not as interested in, so I kind of bump that down to rarely. Technology, kind of in the middle. Um, now, entertainment, personally, I like entertainment. But one way I'm using this with my students is that when they do current events for me in class, I would prefer that they not use an entertainment or a sports article for their current events in social studies. So something that I'm having them do is I will have them actually take this and bump this down, um, you know, for their school account. Obviously in their personal account, if they're very interested in those things, they could bump it up. But that bumps it down so those things aren't going to show up uh, in their news feed and um, then they won't be leaning towards those articles which I really don't want them using for current events so that's one way I'm using this in my teaching so we'll bump those down and then we've got science so keep that at sometimes and health I'll keep that at sometimes too you can also go here and, and kind of do an, a more advanced search for a specific subject um, we'll come back to that in a second I want you to scroll down you can also choose like if there's specific news sources that you like or you think are better than others. Um, so if you like New York Times, you always want to see things that they put out and you would want to change that. Um, or maybe you're not a fan of Fox News, you can bump that down. Um, so on and so on so forth. ESPN, I'm going to bump down because again, I don't really want to see the sports in my news. Um, it's really important you save these things when you go ahead and do that. And I want to go back and show you, I'm going to go back into my wheel here, the advanced options. Now, like I said, you can search for a specific topic that you're very interested in, or you can go here and click on where it says advanced. And that's going to give you more specific topics of things that you could add, you know, if you're really wanting to go through those and look at those. You can kind of search for sections you might be interested in. But the thing that I think is really important to do here is to add a local section. So you're going to type in your zip code, typing in Sylvania's zip code there. 
and I get Sylvania and then whenever I it's already been automatically added and I could add another section too um, like if I really wanted to know if Sylvania is close to Toledo I could type in Toledo and I could add a section about Toledo too so then both of those are gonna show up in my feed um, when you go in and I'll kind of show you how this looks each time you go in so just to go over the layout of the news and what it looks like when you log in um, you go over here to news and it kind of tells you you've got all these different options here you have your top news stories which then are broken down these are some of the big things that are in the news right now so you, maybe you see something there that you are like oh my gosh I really want to know what's happening um, with the Gaza Strip and then you can click on that and that's going to take you to stories about that so I can click on that and, and it's going to be multiple stories from multiple different sources that are going to come up when you click on that so it's sort of nice that you can see different sources uh, it kind of makes it more credible it's also going to link you to video sources as well as print sources so that you can go through and um, choose what you would like to look at. Uh, then there's news near you. So if you click on that, that's going to be things that are happening near where you're located. So you can scroll through that and kind of see things that are happening in the area. Savania would be very specific to Savania. And Toledo would be obviously specific to Toledo. Then you go to your world news. That's going to give you just things happening in the world. and it kind of breaks it down again. Some of these are repeated from the top stories. Gaza Strip was the top story. It's also the top in the world news. U.S. Um, these are some of the top stories too. And then each section would have some of its... Each section is going to have that breakdown. You click on business, it's going to give you all these different options. I'm not really that interested in business, so I'm not going to go into those, but each section I wanted to show you is going to be broken down that way. And then the top stories is really when you go into your news, what you're probably going to want to see the most of. Um, and then also your local news is probably where you would want to go next to see what's happening in the local area. The other thing that is neat about this is it gives you the option to you know have a country we're looking at the US edition but if you wanted to look at uh, an edition for another country that's kind of a nice feature because like for a foreign language class maybe or maybe you wanted to show your students what the news is in other countries it's kind of a nice way to give them a different perspective if you ever wanted to check that out uh, we can change how we want our news to look. I'm very happy with the modern view. I haven't really ever played around with these other ones, but you can kind of change the way that it comes across the screen here. And then on the um, right side here, we have just the most recent stories, things that are just popping up, like current, current, current news. And then if you scroll down, you have your weather, and then there's like some current uh, sports scores of things that are happening, um, Toledo area news, Savania area news, um, and there's just a lot of different things highlighted over here from different news sources. Um, so on the left hand side you have, have it broken down so that you can go through and narrow down what you want to look at. If you just scroll down yourself, you're going to see all these different stories. It might be kind of overwhelming, or maybe you want to go down and look through a lot of these stories and kind of decide what you want to look at. Um, I think Google News is a great way to organize news, and like I said, get news from a variety of sources, and it can be a great tool to use with your students for current events or, or to teach them about a certain subject area. So I would go ahead and check it out and make sure you're going up to this wheel when you first get in and you're personalizing. You can see this all got saved. Um, and I do have the option to reset it if I'm not happy with, uh, if I want to change this and like I really want more entertainment coming across. I can go back through and have the option to do that. Um, 
So that's all on Google News, and I hope that that helps. Thank you.